My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I'm going to be showing you a card today that is a quick and easy card. It's going to be part of my little series that I have that's going to go with my Stampin' Up! While Staying In series. So there'll be different parts of the series, but this one I'm going to use this Thanks for the Laugh. Thanks for the Laughs um, stamp set. And I'm going to be showing you some cards that are we're gonna make to send to people to get some positive thoughts out there. So whether you wanna drop them off at your friend's house, send them to your sisters, send them to your mom, send them to somebody that you know is um, staying in for a while. These are gonna be quick and easy. I do have some, I have a lot of stuff coming up for you. I'm gonna try to hop on Facebook and do some lives. I'm gonna um, have reopened some classes that I've done, done in the past. So if you have something that you want to see, let me know. But this is going to be a quick and easy card. I'm going to combine the thanks for the laughs with positive thoughts. I didn't even realize that was the name of the stamp set. So I'm going to do a, just a really quick card. And you'll see um, how you can kind of combine these. And I may even use a different one of the images from this on another card with some different sentiments. So you can just kind of see how you can mess around with them. This one, I'm just going to use some very vanilla cardstock. And I'm going to put all of the things that I use. There'll be a link and some additional pictures and some more um, information over on my website. So you can just run over there. So this is a half sheet of cardstock and it's just cut to a regular size. And then this is a little smaller than a quarter sheet. Just I wanted to have a little bit more of a border. And then this is just some scrap. So I've pulled out kind of the fern. That's the only image I'm using out of this. This is the fern. And then I have just a bunch of greens. Um, and I chose green because tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, and I'm going to try to get this video up either tonight or it'll definitely be up for St. Patrick's Day. But it's kind of a spring, mossy, March kind of looking card. Um, and you can easily switch the colors up, but I do like the green. It's just a nice spring. So I'm going to start with um, soft sea foam, and I'm just going to work from light to dark. That way I don't have to clean my stamp. If you're going to do not do light to dark, then you'll want to clean it off in between. So I'm going to stamp this. It's a really pretty stamp. And then let's go. I'm going to use these three to stamp my fern. So let's go to Old Olive. Stamp it next. And let's just utilize the way that I cut my paper for whatever I used this for last time. So you can see, it just picks up the definition a little bit differently in the colors. And I have a couple of other videos that um, don't use the stamp set quite so simply. This is a garden green. Let's stamp that one. That's all of the image stamping I'm gonna do. And then the stamp I'm gonna use says, how did I get so lucky to have a friend like you? So it's a little play for the St. Patrick's Day. So if you have this stamp set, you could pull it out and make some cards for people real quick but you can use it all year round. This isn't a St. Patrick's Day set. And I'm just gonna stamp it down here in the corner. Of that. Then I'm gonna run this stuff through my die cut machine. So let's pull this over here. And this has dies, the stamp set does have dies that go with it. They're part of our um, product our coordination, our coordination, I can't remember the name. It's a promotion that doesn't have anything in the catalog, so I will put the link down there because people don't sometimes know that we have them. And they're really pretty. And I do, like I said, I have some more, not hard videos, much more, well, I use a lot more of the pieces and a, more, a few more steps on my stamps and then I use more dies. Those are on my channel. This is going to be super simple. But there is just one for stamps. I'm just going to roll these through. Okay, that's all of that that I'm going to do. So now I'm going to take, stamped on, stacked all my pads on top of it, the subtle embossing folder. And I'm going to put all of this stuff in here. And I'm going to do all of these. I'm just going to kind of lay them on here. It'll put a little bit of an imprint on, but not so much that it will. It's just a nice little effect, but they don't have to go back where they're going to go. So just put that on there. 
and then roll this back through one time. And it gives the paper just like a linen look. It's really pretty. Makes it look a little bit more fancy. And since this is a simple card, it's kind of a nice touch for it. You can see that it gives the linen look. Pull those out, and we just have to stick it all together. So take this piece. Let's go ahead and adhere this to the back. Then it doesn't matter what order you want to put these in. I um, This is, they're not the same color, but you can tell because they're the two darks. Just don't put that next to each other. And this one, I kind of moved a little bit. So I'm going to put it here. So this one, I'm just going to lay flat. And that where it kind of moved on the die is going to get covered up. And then let's do this one here. And I have my dimensionals, so just add dimensional to those to kind of give it some height. And then same for this one here. Pull those off. And then I have the um, braided burlap trim that's from the Tropical Oasis. Sweet, that's in the current mini catalog. So I'll just cut that. And you could put it on just like this if you want, but I want to have a little bit of a softer look. So just take this and kind of pull it apart. And it just opens it up a little bit and makes it not look quite so ropey. So just kind of pull it, and especially here on the ends, if you kind of pull them apart. And then just add your adhesive to your card. Kind of lift up where that is. And it doesn't need the whole thing, it'll stick. Just make sure it's kind of centered. And then right here where this is, I'm gonna make sure it doesn't get stuck underneath there. And then just one last little touch. I'm gonna to take the Noble Peacock Rhinestones and just add one of the peacock, which is another color of green. But you could add any of them, they would all look pretty. Ugh, if I can pick it up. Come on, there we go. And just add that right there. Squish that down a little bit. That was the way I cut my, this piece a little bit smaller than a quarter sheet. So I could have room for that at the bottom. There you go. There's the one I did before. I thought maybe I put my ferns in a different color. Apparently I liked that arrangement of them. So um, get ready to make some quick cards. You can take them up to the nursing home. If you have cards laying around that you've created, just try to send some smiles during this time that we're all going through this once in a lifetime, hopefully, that we'll never have to go through again. Um, but just send them, drop them off at your neighbor's mailbox. Um, if you're out in the store and those poor sales clerks that are working their butts off for not very much money, have one in your, just have a happy little card and hand one to her. If you're getting some takeout, um, give one to the person that drops it off at your door or when you pick it up. So just try to make the world a little bit more of a happy place right now than it is tending to be. So that's the one I have for you today, but I'm going to keep running through a bunch of cards. I'm gonna have some specials. I'm gonna put some card kits together that will work with stamps that you have. So even though you might not have this, this isn't gonna be one of them. But I am gonna put like some cardstock ribbon things together and then I'm gonna use my stamps to show you different ways to put them together um, with different stamp sets that you might already own and different um, generic colors like this one, you could use any greens. You wouldn't have to have the greens I used. You wouldn't have to have these ferns. It would really work with any flowers, this kind of layout. So I'm going to put some of those together for you too. So let's get stamping. Let's stampin' up while we're staying in. See you later. Bye.